Greetings to you in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Truth plus love equals life. I just got this about the pyramids. So I'm going to make this part two. It is also true that these pyramids, you see them, by the way, everywhere. Literally, I mean, St. Louis, it's Alaska, it's, it's Antarctica, I mean, found. It's Bosnia, I mean, it's, it's all over the place, okay? Well, the pyramid is also, and I might as well go into all of this, it had 144,000 casing stones. Those are the imposter manifest sons of Lucifer, okay? And I'm told that it was lined in silver because it reflected the sunlight and the top was gold. The gold would represent the bloodline of Cain. The silver would represent the people at large, okay? Um, <clears throat> no doubt it was a marvel and supernatural. And I'm not going to go into how people can't make those today. Um, clearly, it was some type of levitational, anti uh, inverse gravity, etherity, and I would suspect a type of laser or whatever that is, a amazingly high-powered, I think, water brush, like when they, when they pick your teeth. I mean, if you had that kind of power and pressure and control, you could cut stone with it. So it couldn't have to be a laser. It could be water. It could be air, conceivably, if it was that you know, compressed. But it would have to be something really incredible. So anyways, okay, so the, the pyramids were also top-down receivers. But that's also Antichrist, because God doesn't need anything on top of him to feed him anything from the eye in the sky. That's Lucifer, and then he got outside of the sky. See? Receiving top down is also bullshit. And yes, Christians can talk like that. Paul said, I counted all his dung. The word, in the, the, word in the, in the Greek was emphatic. It's shit. You heard me. I'm not backing down on that. Grow up. Religious devils are the worst. So, to have... To have energy, to need to, be, to have that as your purpose for your location is Antichrist. The mere notion of the pyramid says that the location is what gives credibility to he who sits upon it, as opposed to the other way around. Everyone knows the devil ain't nothing without sitting on that pyramid. Okay, you get it? He's dependent on it, not the other way around. So now these ancient pyramids, they were multi-dimensional. You have to think ancient man was brilliant, and you have to think many different purposes. I'm sure it was used for ritual sacrifices. It was also a landing pad for inverse gravity vehicles. I'm sure it was also a place of merchandise. It was probably a place for funerals. It was probably, I mean, it's the only game in town when you have one of those. You use them. Think about it. Stonehenge, you better believe they were killing people on there and they were doing weddings and, I mean, it was the energy, kids. It was the nightclub. It was a trading platform. It was a launch pad, okay? They'd hide under it under the rain, all right? It was, a, it's certainly a calendar. It's probably, it could have even, who knows? It could have projected and broadcast actually like a, a cell tower, which I absolutely what is the thought many people think with the pyramids. It was transmuting etherity which is this cosmic life force, which is uh, not necessarily from God. It would depend on the heart of the believer, whether how you used it. But it's not God. And worshiping it, that is, is part of the end times deception. So they would broadcast this energy, which would act like a cell tower. And could it be converted? I mean, money is supposed to be convertible. Yes, I'm here to tell you money is plasma, is this etherity. It's a neutral store of value, so it can turn into anything. So it can turn into any one. It's like Uno card with the wild card. The plasma can be convertible into water or fire or metal. Boy, that's trippy stuff. Wow. That's what it was. The energy was money. It could be convertible. They knew how to manipulate it, where you could think a thought, and this energy would turn into water, and it would water your crops, or you would need whatever it is, metal. Yeah, it could solidify. Think, oh man, this is this is amazing. This is amazing. It could turn into wood. You burn that into fire. These are the different sevenfold rainbow force of the arbo tree, hydro, water, aero, gas, metallic, metal, electromagnetic, gravitic rainbow life force. It is etherity. That's what I'll call it. I, I'm like, you can call it ether force. Um, I like that too. But I would just call it etherity. I mean, you can call it plasma. And the Bible calls it pneuma, but you don't want to resubstitute it for God. So that's what this rainbow force is. It's a seven in one, and it's convertible. It's, it, was the, it was the money. It was the real money. 
Love of money, the love of money. Not use of it, but the love of that energy so it can be convertible into anything that you want. That's the real problem. Okay, now in addition, the pyramids were receivers for the wicked stars in the heaven. They were an anchor for Saturn, the diamond planet, Kolob, you name it. Like whatever is what. Sirius A, B, and C, uh, Andromeda this, it, uh, you know, the moon that. They were the anchor. They were the means of all of them connecting to each other. They were the home base. It was like the electrical cord you plug in the cell phone to, okay? And they harnessed the energy from the earth and broadcast it the alien frequencies that were wicked of the devil. All right, I got to go. God bless you. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ, truth plus love equals life.